China quickly rejected the decision of an international tribunal that ruled against Beijing's territorial claims to vast areas of the South China Sea. In a statement Tuesday, the Chinese foreign ministry declared the decision null and void and that it would have no impact on China's actions. Meeting in Beijing with European economic representatives, Chinese President Xi Jinping rejected changing any position or action based on the ruling. In recent years, China has made territorial claims to millions of square miles of ocean and coral reefs throughout the South China Sea. Well, this is a massively important uh, decision uh, by the court, and I think, you know, it, although it, uh, it does not have uh, the force that one uh, might, might like, uh, nonetheless, it does state uh, unequivocally that China's claims over 90% uh, of the Southeast Asian maritime area of the South China Sea have no historical basis. Following a series of violent incidents involving Philippine fishermen, which Beijing said had violated Chinese waters, Manila filed for a declaration of territorial sovereignty. The tribunal found that China was violating the sovereign rights of the Philippines. The Philippines is sending a signal to China. You know, we are concerned, we want this to be resolved, and they do that a bit strong by taking this measure. Um, China is also quite clearly in uh, uh, denying uh, the mandate of the court. So, but that could very well be the, pro the point of departure for uh, a meaningful negotiation between the two countries or in a regional framework. However, the ruling sparked anger on the streets of Beijing, with some residents calling for military action. I agree on the saying by Chairman Mao that political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. International law is made by some states, which means it doesn't benefit all the states. It definitely hurts some states, so when we are hurt by other countries, we should defend ourselves. The Chinese Navy recently concluded several weeks of naval exercises in the area. Tuesday morning, the U.S. State Department called the tribunal's ruling an important decision and urged all claimants to avoid provocation in the area. Tom Associated Press.